Citizens for Electoral Democracy in Uganda, SEDU, claim that a lot of public funds is spent in by-elections that would otherwise be avoided if there was well-coordinated primary scrutiny of candidates before the national elections. An estimate of 4.55 billion shillings is said to have been spent on by-elections alone in 2012. This puts more pressure on the scarce public resources that would have been allocated to more viable sectors such as health. We are calling upon the Electoral Commission to be very stringent in terms of vetting and scrutinizing qualifications of candidates at the nomination process. We are calling upon even the, the, the general public to be keen on the nomination process. So the most recent figures indicate that over 11 by-elections, mostly district level and parliamentary representation, were held last year emerging out of election court petitions. It has turned out to be almost obvious that every political petition ends with a by-election. The prominent by-elections include the one of Bushenyi, Entebbe, Jinja East, Luero, Bukoto South, Butambala County, Kamuli LC5 seat, Usuk County, Kasese Woman MP, Butambala County, Busiro North, Quen County, and the recent one in Butaleja, with each costing at least 500 million Uganda shillings. Sedu also blames the increased decline in voter turn-up to massive deployment by police, the army, and private detectives that create a sense of fear and tension among voters. During the most recent by-election in Butaleja, some voters were denied access to voting premises, creating urgency for police and electoral commission to close monitoring. We are calling upon the police to be rational in terms of uh, the numbers, men and women, that are deployed to observe an election. However, Jotham Taremwa, the head of public relations, Electoral Commission, has condemned the manner in which said represented its findings, saying they needed to be more formal but promised to discuss the draft report on Friday this week before making reactions to it. The draft was not, of course, formal addressed to the Electoral Commission and uh, it did not have signatures, although we received it, but we said you go formally address this draft to the Electoral Commission uh, sign it. In response to Forum for Democratic Change move to drag Electoral Commission to court, the Electoral Observer see no cause in the move, citing they did not notice any major disruptions in the electoral process, but the Electoral Commission awaits the grounds upon which FDC is to file their plight. Zahra Namuli, NBS Television.